ninety thousand for the mayor's birthday. Announce political ambitions, six new restaurants to appear in city by year's end. Yeah, what a shitty day, right? Fire up that hoopty, son! Mr. Boy, this is a very simple test. I'll show you a card with an abstract enemy. You just look at it and tell me what you see. A man taking a handful of tablets in the barn. <laughs> Two natives beating drums. A man going back to his house, like stepping in the door. A blue alien raping a pig. A baby with spider legs. A tree that's growing human lungs. <laughs> An ice cream cone. Inform me about the test results in the coming days, huh? So here's what kicked off the bad chain of events, Henry's. So I accidentally didn't realize that I was sending my officers to the mission that the mob asked me not to send officers to. So what ended up happening was is I chose my three best officers to send to that mission with one like rookie type officer. So then when the investigation completed and I had to send two officers to apprehend the head of the Red Dragon Mafia, my best officers were off to go get, to go do the mission that I should have just never sent anybody to. So had I just taken and not sent those officers on that mission, I would have had my best officers to go apprehend the leader of the Red Dragon gang and then I would have succeeded at the Mafia mission as well as succeeding at the mission to apprehend the head of the Red Dragon Mafia and I would have got my $20,000 bonus. So instead, I, I still got the four grand, which I would have gotten either way, but I, I missed out on the, on the additional 20,000. So I hope that makes sense on how I made a decision to do something and that fucked me on the other decision because had I not sent those officers out, I would have had my more decorated and highly trained and more reliable officers that I could have sent to apprehend the leader of the Red Dragon Mafia, or uh, gang. No, I'm, they didn't give me anything. I screwed up myself. That was all on me. What's up, Jack? Jack Stefan. Moser, I drank too much. Don't think I can hold it together. Can I go home? No. Yesterday I lost a bet and swallowed my car key. Last night I was shitting blood. I think it'd be better in the hospital. Nope. Sing him. So, how many of you guys have voted? Let's go see how many of you guys have voted. We got a poll up. I need you guys to vote. Let's go see how many of you guys have been able to vote. I know it was screwing up earlier. We got 20 total votes so far. Let's, let's post this thing, see if it works now. 
That right there, J-Pimp. I would also fire Moser. It's a new one. It's a new one, Rabbitus. It is a it is a new a new poll that's a follow-up from the poll we just did. You abandoned me for two weeks and now I own I owe you a vote. I didn't abandon you for two weeks. Yeah, I voted nay. Alright. Feminist protest. A few months ago an unregistered feminist organization appeared in a free word. Today they're holding their first protest. As far as we know, the organization is backed by foreign sponsors and their goal is to get their people to important positions in City Hall. Protests may escalate into something more serious and we need to show them who's in charge. Use batons and tear gas, even firearms if necessary. Let's show them what intimidation looks like up close and personal. Well, this doesn't sound like it's going to go well. About 50 women are gathered in the park chanting, Let us be successful. Jack, we have a problem. The chief prosecutor of Freeburg is a woman, and it seems she's on the side of the feminists. You might be walking into some serious legal problems. We better play it safe and fake some evidence to shield you from any possible prosecution. We'll forge a record of telephone conversation in which one of your officers says he hates women, and he couldn't wait to turn their faces into a bloody mess. We'll forge a letter in which the mafia says the feminist organization is getting in their way of business and demands... You suppress the protest by force. I don't have the money. I don't have 15 grand. Can't do it. Hostage situation. Dissatisfied client entered some law offices with a pistol, took several employees hostage, and abandoned meeting with the firm's partners. These shyster Jews took me for a ride. They sucked up all my money, and my son went to jail. This is not going to go well. Sending all rookies on this. I didn't see. I didn't see the option where I keep you in my sex box under the bed and use you as we please. <laughs> Suppress the protesters by force. No. Wow's not going anywhere. Jack, we have something going down today at the Rubinovich Casino at 1240. Okay. <coughs> so we just gotta remember the time. And it's at the casino. Oh. Your psyche's, in, your psyche's in good shape. My only concern is your stress level. My research shows the Beethoven music soothes and relaxes the nervous system. I recommend you invest in a big good of Ludwig von. It will help with any violent urges you have. All right, sounds good, kids. Oh, they pulled it off! They pulled it off! Civilian killed, though. That's not good. You don't want to step out of the movie theater during the show and fled it. I know. Well, I saw that they pulled it off, but I didn't get all the way to the end before I started getting excited. The dealer of the casino called the police after a man in place carrying a grenade. He threw, he threw a duffel bag on the floor and demanded to be filled with money. Didn't see nothing. Stranger than paradise. 
The incident occurred during screening at Jim Jarmusch film Stranger Than Paradise. The screen is ruined and members of the audience suffered minor injuries in the panic, but, but fortunately no one was seriously hurt. I remember a girl with bright red hair. I sold her a ticket after the show started, although I usually don't do that. But she was really, really nice. I noticed a bottle in her hand, but I thought it was soda. I wouldn't think such a pretty young lady would come to the movies with anything hard. I sat in the last row a few minutes after the film started. I heard someone into the room slam the door. I was going to say something because I don't like it when someone distracts me from his vision. And then I saw a flash of fire flaming body through the screen. Screen caught fire. I thought it must be part of the show. You know what I heard? And it's from the nut house. The fire started immediately started looking around for a way out. And that's when I spotted her, the redheaded fool. She ran away quick. Yeah, she. Remote control bomb to the casino. Coinstitution 2000 Arcade. Today we're installing a new slot machine called Super M Magdalene 3. Last time we put a new one in, one of the bigger kids almost broke it the first day and would greatly if you sent us a couple of your men to keep things under control. Alright, you two. Shit! It's getting worse. We lost two civilians in one day. Now he's really gonna be pissed. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing a penalty from the mayor soon. Ah, a pregnant girl called in a report on a suspicious gynecologist who she met in reception. The doctor was behaving very strange and attempted to persuade the girl to have an abortion, though she was already five months pregnant. Through streaming tears, she explained the doctor said for only 10000 he would save me from the parasite inside my body. Everything went great, boss. In fact, it's been a while since we had that much fun. We beat the hell out of them playing Hellfire. Nice. But I don't get any bonus? Oh, perfect. There we go. Housewife Takara Montez often complains to the police about her neighbors. They're constantly making a racket, often getting into fights. Always refusing to discuss things with their neighbors. She's called the police again today after hearing loud bangs from the apartment, along with loud screams. According to her, about six or seven people live there. Stovall, get your ass back here. The doctor spots police, grabs a scalpel, and boldly shouts, Come on, I'll release your souls from the filthy world. Shoot him with a taser. <laughs> Tase his ass! Stowell, get your ass back here. Faster. All right, Jack, we're about to bring a large amount of alcohol, but we heard that our new partners like to play tough. We need a couple of your guys. This is not going to go well. They're totally getting shot. Don't tase me, bro. Uh, Somebody's totally dying here. came in from the hotel occupant who was concerned about the cries of a woman in the adjoining room. Sounds to me like someone's being raped. <laughs> Only this group. Ravenous. The other one's a little more colorful. We've got three new frames.
get to that in a second. I don't think we need SWAT for that. All right. The door to one of the rooms on the second floor is standing ajar, and through it you'd see a large man holding a crying girl by the neck. He's striking her in the face, shouting, Shut up, whore. I paid you. Now keep quiet. Use pepper spray. Oh, God. Oh, it worked. I can't believe that worked. I'm like, I'm going to go. I'm going out the window. Nice. They all get little bonuses. How are they only getting plus five? Oh, because they went first. <laughs> Starsky and Hutch right there is right. I want action movie style. I'm like, how are we going to do this? We're going all in. Well, I totally thought that it would jump out there and die. Sweet. It's got her to 145. Outstanding. He's at the 470 Faust. He's an animal. All right, we're good. Everybody moved up a little bit. Boss, I quit. I just want to spend more time. No! Not my best detective. Are you kidding me? Oh. Course. Local residents denounced mayor for theft of antique necklaces. Son of a bitch. City unemployment rate drops below 1%. Representative of Orthodox Church may appear in Freeburg. They should change that up. Price. I was up all night reading an exciting detective story called The Last Temptation of Neptune. I'm almost certain that the killer was a salesman ghost, but I, I can't rest until I know for sure. Can I go home and finish reading my book? No. Got some terrible heartburn this morning. Might be better if I go home and lie down. No. Yancey, you had a fucking stripe, dude. Are you kidding me? D-bag? She said some, uh, some beef oven, right? I thought I had some. Maybe it's in the catalog. Yeah, I know, Ram. I gotta make sure I get the other one. It's actually for shift A. Okay. These guys are garbage compared to the one that quit. They're probably going to tell me no on this time. Yeah, right, Jamal? The real problem with that is, Jamal, is I always worry about shows like that. Are they going to be able to capture the, the amazingness of the first season? Time to send the mob to kill his family so he can come back to work. <laughs> this is one way to do it. Sometimes your officers will arrest only one or two criminals, but when you're taking down a whole group, it's better to bring the paddy wagon. Okay. A true professional staff can cope without the need of special transport. Most officers prefer the paddy wagon when the situation calls for it. Too bad the department doesn't have the money for one. 
An ice cream van struck a schoolboy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was declared dead on the scene. Nearby residents are enraged and demand justice from the driver who's in the, of the van. He's currently holed up inside the ambulance while the paramedics try to reason with the crowd. The situation is quickly spiraling out of control. Got to send our most senior officer to try and calm everybody down. Officer Coochie. Did you, did you just perform one, Bill Tough? All right, Linda Purdy is is today a hero, having pulled a drowning Senator Wallace Green from the river. The municipality, on the senator's recommendation, has decided to reward this outstanding officer. The ceremony is scheduled for July 27th, and the event will be open to the press as well as Mr. Green's family, who wish to personally thank the police. Make sure nothing unusual happens to this officer, so he will be able to attend the ceremony and receive his medal without complications. Totally looks like a chick, by the way. It, wait, everything said he, it said he, 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 and it's Linda Purdy. I don't know what's going on there. Jack, some black gangster hit one of our shops. It's too much for us to deal with right now. Can you help? we go. Here's where she dies. Here's where Purdy gets shot. What's up, Mish? How are you, man? This is totally where she gets shot. I guarantee it. There's something going down to the courthouse at 1830. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. 6,000 should be enough for such a request. All right, 1830. I didn't assume nothing. Sweet. Now you guys need to haul your asses back. An elderly man called from the called the police station reporting terrible screams been coming from the sawmill for over an hour. What the hell's going on? The guy got What's the guy gotta do to get a little sleep around here? You better go check it out. Media Center and every manager might want to get her into as much danger as possible. Why would I want to do that? Alright. That's not 1830. I managed a large fleet of vehicles and wanted to wanted to organize my workshop for my new drivers. They have to learn how to behave on the road, so your police so your patrolman will never need to look twice at our cars. Please send three of your best officers. They'll ride all day with my people. So on this one I'm actually gonna send the crappy ones. Emergency calls received from an all-night drug store. An addict is attempting to gain unlawful entry. He's violently threatening a female pharmacist, demanding she open the cabinet. Anybody coming back yet? There's no way they get back there in time. All right. Supposed to need four. We're sending two. It's almost surrounded by a nine-foot fence. The gates are locked from the inside. Shouts can be heard from within. Man is threatening a young boy with a circular saw. The man is screaming hysterically. Whew. There we go. Courthouse is at 1830. Will not forget. RIP Purdy. We rode along, went over the basics, empty-headed drivers were done for the day. Meanwhile, Mr. Strand dropped off a brand new paddy wagon. Yes! Yes! Sweet! There it is.
During sentencing, a serial killer by the name of Albert Ramirez seized the gun from the holster of the court bailiff and after shooting several witnesses, barricaded himself inside the courtroom. Ugh, this is not good. Good old Purdy. Kicking ass and taking names. Thing is, they're already dead. Emergency medical services arrived on a call for a man complaining of chest pains while they were while they were treating him. The man suddenly attacked one of the EMTs, shouting wildly about global pharmaceutical conspiracy. The other personnel managed to escape and called the police. So these three are not coming back. We've got a situation here. All right, the door to the apartment is locked from the inside. Intelligible screams can be heard from within. victim is bound and lying on the floor. The assailant is sitting on top of a women's syringe filled with an unknown substance. Bottle of bleach is on the floor. Point the gun at the man and order him to lie face down. The man jumps up and grabs some papers from the table. Everything is written down right here. All the evidence you'll need. They created these medications to control our minds. Manage these crazy people. Clitzy, doing well. And the puppies are great. Hope you're doing good. How you been? What the heck is this, Big Tigger? It's called This is the Police. There's filming a flick. Purdy, crushing it. It's all those secret Jedi mind techniques. Tell me more about the conspiracy. Mmm, yes, let's go talk about this down at the station. I know, so close, Demon Hunter. Smelly Brown Hole, how are you? I need more cops, is what I need. City Hall employees award, awarded company cars for personal use. Freebird to host semifinals of Youth Hockey League. Mayor Rogers displeased with the police department. Shocker. <laughs> Whoops, built tough. All right, some pipes in my house busted. I need to wait around for the plumber. Can I take the day? Yeah, but you're coming tomorrow. They say it's going to rain today and I have a very weak immune system. I'm afraid I might get sick. No. Oh nice, Klitsy. That's pretty awesome. Alright, time for some time for some new new tunes. Let's go ahead and get this train. We're gonna we're gonna pick up pre orders too. Turk Murphy. Put these braces of protection on you. They will keep you safe. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Can I meet your request? I, they're, of course they're not. Of course they're going to fucking deny them. I, like three people are dead. 
Trespassing. Bill Buckler reports that two unidentified men men sneaked into his farm and set fire to the barn. The call came in. The two criminals were attempting to gain entry to the house. All right. Stovall, Vandal, Maza. Can you become corrupt? Uh, Smelly Brownhall, I'm already, I'm already in, in cahoots with the Mafia. So, yes, I can become corrupt. Basically, the idea is I'm trying to, I'm trying to reach a goal of 500,000 money at the top by 180 days. There are no signs of, criminal, of criminals near the house. The front door has been broken down. Shadows lurk inside. Boom! Got your ass trying to go out the back door. Drug addict attempt to hide an expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket. He was caught. He began to throw a fit. Was that a Bill Buckner joke? I don't. I, I don't think so. I think it was Bill Buckler. Jack, one of our new guys tried to rape our accountant. We locked him in a hotel room, but he's threatening to hand the whole organization over to the police. I think it's time he talks to a police officer face to face. I think Gary will work on this one. Gary's got this covered. Eighteen thirty nine a grand Dude you need to calm your shit with this stuff. Chief, what's up man? How you been, Chief? Soul with a deadly weapon. A woman reports that she saw a skinhead attacking a dark skinned valet, striking him around the legs. I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. Ah. Oh. What's up? Quite gone. How you been, buddy? Ooh, the lightning. Figured as much. All right, let's send Gardner and Roy. Fucking kidding me? I have to let I have to let somebody else die, dude. Can you guys can you guys commit some crimes that don't kill anybody, please? Especially ones that are not a thousand bucks. Henry's yeah, we'll be playing the demon hunter tomorrow. Eight-year-old Kevin is at home alone, hiding out of the bed. Unknown persons are gathered outside the apartment door. All right, attempted robbery suspects.
guess eight year old Kevin wasn't. I guess eight year old Kevin wasn't. Uh, yeah, Kevin's home alone. That's right. Watch out for booty traps. Booty traps. That's what I said. Sweet. Oh, I get it. The ones that are getting five are like the, the secondary, the backups. We good? Made it through the day. One more civilian lost. Hey, I look at it this way. If you lose if you lose 180 civilians in 180 days, that's not too bad. <laughs> look at my sweet ass. In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. Couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. But my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Sounds like a party. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's got to be honored. That's right. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. <laughs> this time, I only got up to sixty. I was interrupted. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. Sassy strut. That's sassy. how the newspapers described Vikis Varga, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance, and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. Well, you know my name. I'm flattered, although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well... I love to learn, and look around, but I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. That's pretty funny, by the way.
This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. Can't tell if they're trying to have him have I a question. I like your city, sense. Jack. I'm here to stay. Or something else. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Orthodox priest bribes mayor, students volunteer to help farmers, Greek priest to be appointed head of Freeburg Orthodox Church. Yeah, it's like somewhere in between that and Croatian and Belgian and I don't know. Yeah, but he didn't say it. My like morning the ritual Spanish was plagued Varga. by the smell of Vicus Varga's fruity cologne. It was like the sharp citrus scent was chasing me around the house, as if Vickers was right there in my living room. When I finally realized the smell was coming from a big basket of oranges, it didn't put me any more at ease. I'd opened my door to lots of threatening mail, evidence of criminal wrongdoing, even a dead ferret or two. But fruit? Never. You the fruit guy? Excuse me? Was it you that brought the basket of oranges? Nah, it was here when I arrived. Fine. So who are you? Today, I'm your driver. And uh, where are we driving? To work. That's it? Yeah, we have to make an important stop along the way. Where? The ranch. What ranch? Just the ranch. Fine. Just the ranch. The morning seems surreal, and I took in the magic. Why wreck it a with blue me? Cheese ranch. Just the ranch. As my tight-lipped chauffeur drove an hour through God knows where, I started to feel like I was in the middle of a bad dream, probably lying bloody and concussed in the alley behind the old colony club, my nose buried in a rotten orange peel. But no, this was no dream. The silence was real. The sound of the engine was real. The dust was real enough, too. And there was the ranch over the horizon. It all seemed familiar. The Sand family's overbearing mansion has been the talk of the headlines for decades. But few have managed to get closer than a few miles. I guess I'm just lucky. Love my sweet bald spot. I didn't know you took private meetings, Mr. Sand. Only if I expect good company. I'm surprised my company ranks at all. Today, yes. Today is a special day. So it seems. Do you often go to the old colony club, Jack? Every week. Meet any interesting people there? As a rule, no. Sometimes you make a date, right? Sometimes make new friends. Sometimes, I guess. But that's not why I go. And why? I consider it a hobby. Hmm. A hobby? Do you know anything about my hobbies? Well, judging by the half dozen animal skins I stepped on walking over here, it's not much of a reach to say you like hunting. Love it? Well, I say that now. It seemed so tedious when I was a child. It took ever so long. But now, I'm older. I've developed a new talent. Oh, what talent is that? Patience. The will to wait for the right moment. Let's say you want a deer. You know, you deserve it. You've even decided what dishes its meat will go to and where you'll mount its horns. But to get that deer, you've got to wait. 
to sit in the bushes and stay nice and quiet. Professional hunters will tell you that the hunt is a rare craft. There are many rules. It's shrouded in mystery and ancient skill. Well, that's all complete nonsense. To get a deer, you just sit on the sidelines for a long enough time, pinpoint the moment when it's finally time to shoot. I learned the talent, Jack. But not like you, oh, Jack. You truly are the master. I don't understand. Oh, come on, Jack. I know about the half million. I know your plan. Kendrick told me everything. Needless to say, I'm impressed. While some people learn to hold their breath for minutes on end and not to rustle the leaves too loudly, why you decided to just become the foliage. You turned yourself into a bush, surrounded by deer who've been so fruitfully multiplying for decades. But all this time you've held your rifle at the ready. Uh, forgive an old man his imagery, Jack. I have the heart of a poet, I confess. Look, I don't know what was said between you and Kenrick, but it sounds like you got it wrong. Oh, I think I understand everything just fine. And I think we understand each other quite well. Jack, in the coming war, we'll make excellent partners. What war? One war falls upon every generation. My grandfather drove out the Ambersons back when he was 27. My father destroyed that psychopath gangster, Maurice Bell, when he was a sprightly 30. At 69, I'd begun to think my war had passed me over. But my time has come at last. Tomorrow, Vicus Varga declares war, and I'm obliged to answer. So, we're talking about Varga now? I don't know how he thinks. I don't even know whether he plans his actions or not. I can't divine his purpose. Hell, I don't even know where he comes from. He's a man not of our breed, wouldn't you say? But when he arrived here, I invited him in, told him we could work together. An official invitation penned in my own hand and written on some very expensive paper. And can you imagine his reply? A fruit basket. What sense can be made of such a message? I guess it means whatever you want it to. Precisely. I'm late for work, Mr. Sand. You know, Jack, I could just give you half a million right now. Cash, whatever denominations you like. But I would never insult you so. If I went stalking my prey for so many years, I wouldn't want someone else to shoot it for me. I understand you, Jack. And I'll never ask you for anything that's contrary to your nature. Just think about our conversation. Think about it. And call me. Like I said, it's a whole new life, and I've had to give up some old habits. One of them, keeping away from things that don't concern me. Now I can't afford the luxury. This spotlight I'm under, concerns is all I got. Oh, brother. What's up, Jay? How you doing, bud? Which way do you guys think? Varga or Sand? I'm leaning towards sand myself. But Varga's the young, spry, exciting. I like sand. Sand is squishy. <laughs>
Tell him it's Boyd. It's my dog's birthday and I want to spend the day off at the park. No. Wubba lubba dub dub! Jay! Coming in hot for 22 months in a row, Jay. Thanks for that, buddy. Appreciate the support, man. All right, how we doing? We good? We're good. All right, what are we going with? Good old Bud Freeman. Abe Froman. City Hall, please be advised that we're unhappy with the efficiency of free repeat. E. We're cutting the department's budget. What? Use one removing an Anakia. <laughs> I appreciate it, Jay. Might as well go with the one that's the least, right? Tomorrow's gonna be the day. Don't let anything happen to him until then. See the call from the club manager said the brawl broke out in the main hall involving over 20 men. Security are keeping keep back because some of the combatants are carrying knives. Several wounded are already lying in the dance floor, but no one knows why the mayhem broke out. Yeah, I know, right, Chief? <laughs> he can take the rest of the week off to celebrate his dog's birthday. dog got in an argument and eventually one of them unleashed the dog and the other the police were called by the girl who was riding her bicycle nearby. Still gotta put in a day's work today. Yeah, Cheese Fox, basically you're playing the game, like you play this portion of the game, and, then you, and your, deci your decisions have serious consequences. Um, but there is a, an underlying story narrative that is going on, but you make decisions throughout the course of that story, it's kind of like Choose Your Own Adventure, that dictates how the story progresses. Boy is struggling on the ground, barely to hold off the angry dogs trying to grab him by the throat. Dog with boys get it's, and its owner starts to flee. Borrow the girl's bicycle, run after him, or the teenager to halt. Doesn't matter, he's getting fired anyways. Are they gonna get back here in time? That's the real question. It's going to be so close. There we go. Homicide. Prisoner uh, Maria Serpentine reported the sounds of gunshots inside the church. A bearded man in a hat entered the confessional, and then a minute later, gunshots. The man calmly left the booth, took off his hat, crossed himself, sat down on a pew, and I think he's praying. If I'm making the decision, how's it going? Mixed. 
Linda Howard, her words slurred, said the dentist paralyzed her face during the last visit. These monsters struck me with some kind of poison. Arrest him. Loot found. Non-automatic weapon. Interesting. That's the mafia to sell it. For now, we'll bring it to the police station. I'm guessing if I ask the mafia to sell it, it's a nice, easy bunch of cash. Normal painkillers. Where did I go to college? Long Beach State. An ice cream vendor in a suspicious black bag which has been lying on the road at a bench for the past few hours. Oh boy. Is this where we go boom boom? I didn't send Purdy because I thought this might be a bomb. Officer on Looks like we have a Something moving inside the bag. For a baby. What was in the bag? What was in the bag? That doesn't make any sense. That was weird. Some advice in this game, Cheese Fox? If you want to advise me about the game, I don't want it. I'm trying to learn on my own. I appreciate it though, bud. Corn mine will be demolished by summer's end. City Ministers to finance dance festival. Francis Kendrick won't succeed Jack Boyd. That's because he's gone. So, tech advice for Cheese Fox by Cheese Fox Rabbitus? Is that what you're saying? You're weird. Jack Stefanowski. Jack Stefanubilis. Freeburg's first mafia war in decades has spread chaos across the streets. Major criminal gangs vie for power, and the outcome of the struggle is impossible to predict. One thing is certain a couple weeks from now, only one family will rule the city. Oh boy. Passerby rang the police when he saw a naked man running through the streets pursued by a woman carrying a large kitchen knife. The woman was shouting, I'll gut you, you f Jesus. Oh shit, I didn't even realize what time it was. Alright guys, I need to go to lunch. <laughs>